Alabama shares the longest unbeaten streak in uh, the country with Michigan at 11-0-1. Michigan was trailing a little while ago. Tennessee just kicked off to Alabama. And Bobby Humphrey is now returning it for the Crimson Tide. And he comes out to about the 25-yard line. And there they'll go to work. So here's the first offensive play of the ball game. The 69th meeting between Alabama and Tennessee. Shula pitches to Humphrey. And big one for Bobby Humphrey. A first down for him as he gets out beyond the 38-yard line. Mark Hovannik, 6'3", 255 from Yorktown, Virginia, is going to have to have a big game. He's going to have to anchor things down where the big guys work. And he would probably be considered capable because he's tough. This is Humphrey going for the outside. And the pulling guard gives him some room as he lays a solid block opening the door and the game is out close to the 49 yard line before Andre Kramer brings him down. Point we made in the early on hours of the day that Shula with a career with a touchdown pass today becomes the career leader in touchdown passes for Alabama. It is second down and eight. Humphrey hit at the line of scrimmage and gets away. Gene Jokes at 5'11", 170 pound sophomore from Gadsden comes in for the Tide and he is the faster of the two. And there's a hole on the left side for Gene Jokes, and he's got eight yards on that carry, and they're, they're chewing him up. And it's second down and two. Jokes has it again, cuts it back into the middle, bounces to the outside, first down, Alabama, at the 19-yard line of Tennessee. Second down and four. Fullback, Bo Wright, up the middle, inside the five, to the one, touchdown! Keith Davis has opened at the backfield with two sore knees. So he's in there, and on the first play, they'll throw it. They go down the middle with it, and the pass is complete to the tight end, Tim Hendricks. And Hendricks is going to have the pickup of about seven, close to eight yards. And second down and three. Davis is out now, and Charles Wilson is the lone remaining back for the Volunteers. And Wilson has the ball and has the first down as he breaks it big. He blew that thing all the way to the 45-yard line, and he had a huge hole in behind John Bruin and Bruce Wilkerson. So they've been effective now. One pass, one run. Interesting that Charles Wilson is from the same hometown as Bo Wright, Pritchard, Alabama. Jeff Francis from Mount Prospect, Illinois, run down from behind. Guess who? And it's a fumble, and it's Alabama's football. Did he, I thought he was out of bounds. No, the ball sir. got loose. Dropped the ball before he went out, and again, it's all everything. Cornelius Bennett coming from the backside, and nobody does that better. And it's Humphrey and Wright lined up behind Shula with Al Bell in motion. Humphrey with the ball. Big hole on the right side. Once again, somebody had a hold of Humphrey, but he broke the tackle. There's a penalty flag thrown back up around the 35-yard line. The referee is Jimmy Harper. Cliff, Alabama. You got two tight ends on the field for the tide, and this time Bell comes back to the ball. And Bell's got the ball on a reverse. Gets two blocks on the corner and gets down to about the 33, and he is close to a first down. Third down in the yard for Alabama. Shula going for it. Clay Whitehurst, touchdown. Penalty flag. Whitehurst beat Kramer. The tide rolling for a shootout with Penn State next Saturday in Tuscaloosa, which you'll see on ABC. High, high kickoff. Won't be, oh, he fumbles the ball. It's loose on the ground. Alabama's got the ball. But it's just power of football. Right now, Tennessee is not sure what's taking place, and some of those guys are looking out through their belly buttons. To the goal line goes Humphrey, but he is stopped just short. Humphrey, well, Shula's got it, walks in. Touchdown, Alabama. Francis to throw. 
passes away. Pass is good for a first down. Up around the 33 to Terrence Cleveland, the wing back. And maybe Jeff Francis and company can get it going. You need it bad now. I sure hope so. Okay, thanks, William. Keith. This quick drop passes away. The pass is caught for an eight-yard pickup. And Jeff Francis, just as he released the ball, was punished. Third down and one now for the Volunteers. Trying to pick up their second first down, give the ball to Wilson. And Charles Wilson hammers his way to the 45, and the Volunteers do have their first down. Sin Davis. And he'll have another Tennessee first down as he gets to the Alabama 41. And again, big hole in the middle. Francis, screen, Miller, good block to get him down the sideline. Out of bounds, inside the 15 at the 11. Mickey Thomas finally got him. A third and one for the first down. Alabama folks are in that end of the stadium, and they're not helping. Touchdown, Keith Davis. Bell has been in motion on virtually every play, but he's yet to see the ball, and here he goes again. Shula back to Humphrey. Two blockers in front of him, big hole, first down. Alabama up at the 37. Victor Peppers is now in for Tennessee at a cornerback spot, replacing uh, Davis. And here is Jelks wiggling through the traffic and getting up to the 46-yard line, and that's a pickup of about eight yards as the first quarter has come to a close. After one in Knoxville, Alabama 21, Tennessee 7. Got the ball. And don't think he has the first down. Tennessee jumped him pretty well that time as uh, Alabama tried to muscle them, and the Volunteers clogged it up. Now it is third down and four for the Volunteers. Francis has good protection, swings it out, and they're short of the first down. Here comes the mark. Oh, that was Eric Thomas, uh, outside backer that hit him. On first down. Got a man, Anthony Miller, wide open. He's on his way. Touchdown, Tennessee. So Jeff Francis unloads a big one to Anthony Miller, and Neyland Stadium erupts. Humphrey carries. And Bobby gets a first down for Alabama as he picks up 11, almost 12 yards on that gallop. Humphrey again. And another first down and more as Bobby Humphrey. He's running like a 240 pounder. People are just bouncing off of him and Bobby weighs only 185. Alabama on the Tennessee 36. Gene jumps in at tailback. He bounces outside and he picks up nine yards. Second down and one. Jumps daylight in the middle and another for Alabama first down at the Tennessee 16 yard line. And they're tearing him up in the middle. Charles Davis, the strong safety, making that tackle. Jelks again. Clogged up, bounces on outside, and picks up another eight yards. Jelks and Bull Wright split in the backfield now. New alignment for the tie. Jelks. He's got the first down as he gets inside the five to the four. Jokes. Touchdown. Charles Wilson is the lone remaining back. That's Clink scales in motion, gives some trips on the top side of the picture. And Francis goes that way to Miller, and he catches the ball falling down and loses. Back to about the 24. Third down and four now. Mike Shula back to throw. Passes away, Al Bell sees it for the first time, makes the catch, first down, Alabama, Tennessee, 42. Of course, they tease you with Bell before they ever give it to him. This is Bo Wright, big hole. First down, Alabama, inside the 30 and the 29. They go the other way to Humphrey. First down, breaks it. Touchdown, Alabama.
First down from the 20, Francis. Back to throw. Gets it down the middle. He's got the tight end, Hendricks. And Hendricks has got a first down out at the 39. A pickup of 19 yards. Kermit Kendrick brought him down. Francis back. Dumps it off. It's short of a first down to Keith Davis. It's the second time we have seen that play, and this time uh, Davis is knocked out with some authority, a yard short of the first down. Might as well, fourth down and a yard. Keith Davis hit behind the line of scrimmage, fighting back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. He is stopped. Wayne Davis, number 58, that inside backer, came firing through and knocked him off balance, and he could never get any momentum, and he comes up short. A lot of time, 151. Mike Shula back. He's got all day and finally takes off and runs for the first down. Inside the 35 to the 32. Shula going down the middle for Howard Cross, the tight end. Touchdown, Alabama. It's Stafford, Angelo Stafford, who makes the catch, number 86. Third down and two. Francis' pass is deflected at the line of scrimmage. Slapped down by Cornelius Bennett. He almost intercepted it. Well, if you've got to give a, the backup quarterback some playing time with a 42-14 halftime lead, it's not a bad place to do it, is it? And don't forget, they also have Vince Sutton on the bench. Vince Sutton started against Tennessee here in Knoxville the last time the Alabama Crimson Tide came into this park. That snap ends the first half of play. So after 30 minutes, Alabama dominating, leading 42 to 14 over Tennessee. And Tennessee comes out. First down, just outside their own 28. First down. They need a lot of points in a hurry. Jeff Francis back will throw on first down. Goes underneath for his tight end and misses it. No, it isn't either. It's Vando Davis coming out of the backfield. He's got holding on the defensive team before the ball was thrown. It'll be automatic first down. That is the seventh penalty flag on Alabama today. Francis pitches the ball back to Vando Davis, and he's got some daylight around the corner, crossing midfield and getting to the Alabama 49 before Kermit Kendrick brings him down. But I want you to look at down the bottom, Cornelius Bennett three tackles. He had a whole lot of hurries, though. Francis goes down the middle. This time, it's the tight end Hendricks, and him goes way up to pull it down at the Alabama 29, and another volunteer first down. Davis gives the ball to Miller. Miller's being chased by Cornelius Bennett and decked all the way back on the 43-yard line. And there isn't much wind that's a factor inside this huge bowl. 53-yard field goal try by Rivez. He's got enough leg, but it didn't hook for him. It stayed to the right, and he misses from 53 yards, and the score remains the same. And when you have that new rug, it's not worn down. You have to exaggerate your steps. Consequently, a lot of guys stumble and slip their way through it. They stay in the single back, and Bo Wright picks up the first down as he bangs his way up to about the 47. On that previous play, you saw Wes Neighbors. Third down and eight. Shula's pass intended for Al Bell is knocked down at the line of scrimmage by Fred Bennett. For Tennessee, that's Smokey, the blue tick hound, the official mascot of the Volunteers. Uh, Jeff Francis back to pass. Let's it go big for Anthony Miller. He's got it. Boy, he is spectacular. He is caught and brought down by Britton Cooper, and Britton was all over it. Miller and Davis in the backfield for Tennessee. Francis swings it out to Davis. A couple of blocks to swing him. And he's close to his first down. He put it ahead with Derek Thomas. And they tumbled out right about the marker at the 15. They shut out Clink scale so far today. He's wide to the top of the picture. He goes inside. Parrots Cleveland touchdown. Jumps again. 
holds on the right side. And he's got a first down for Alabama as Terry McDaniel, the left side quarterback, made the hit on him. Humphrey back in there at tailback. And Bobby's out to the 43 before they ride him out. Not quite a first down. And again, it's McDaniel making the first hit on him. Bo Wright, fullback, falls down just as he was breaking into the open. A little bump and lost his footing. Second down and three. Bo Wright, hit at the line of scrimmage, breaks the tackle, picks up the first down inside the 29 of Tennessee. Third down and a long three, close to four. Shula gives it to Al Bell on the reverse. Bell breaks the tackle, and they knock him out of bounds at the eight. He is really tough to get a handle on. Second down and goal. Up the over the top, touchdown. This went by the East Carolina beating uh, Georgia Southern. That puts a crimp in Irk Russell's hopes for a rerun of a championship season for Georgia Southern in one double-A. Francis steps away from the pressure, gets his pass off, and it's caught at the 41 of Alabama by Joey Clinchdale. On first down, Francis throwing again. Going deep into the corner, and it is incomplete, and a penalty flag. Anthony Miller gets the flag. The Alabama man, Chris Good, had the ball in his sights for the interception, and the Miller comes across and nailed him in the back. Jeff Francis on third down and 25. Penalty flag down, gets his pass away, and Cleveland makes a spectacular catch inside the 35 but let's see about the penalty i think that laundry back up on the field is going to bring that one back balls have the ball third down and 31 from their own 37 playing the number two team in the country jeff francis ducks away from the pressure gets his pass off should have kept it it is intercepted by freddie robinson Shula's in there at quarterback pitching to Bobby Humphrey. And he takes it to the Tennessee side of midfield and picks up a first down at the ball's 43. Humphrey again. He's over 200 as he picks up another first down at the Tennessee 27-yard line. And a 49 to 21 lead. Humphrey goes down for Bob. Look out. He's now out as a receiver, but Shula goes the other way for Al Bell. And the ball is not loose, but a penalty flag is thrown against Andre Kramer. And I think Andre came across, and they, they're going to read this a little bit as head hunting. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be interception. It's going to be uh, clotheslining. Third down. And touchdown, Humphrey. Second down and 10. Francis gets it away, caught by Davis. Davis is short of the first down. Again, good involved on the play for Alabama, stopping him short of the first down. Francis throwing again. Pressure coming from the backside. Passes away to Anthony Miller, and they've got him at about the 36, 37 yard line. Derek Thomas, just as time was running out, a field goal for Michigan, and they beat Iowa by three. The field goals have decided that one for many years. And up the middle, carrying the ball is Vando Davis, and he's got another volunteer first down. On second down and nine, Ooh. from behind, Jeff Francis is taken down by Philip Brown. Castillo. Caught at the ankles as he made his cut, and he is short of the first down, and so Chris Moore will come into punt. All right, Moses Collins comes in for Tennessee at quarterback now. Tony Thompson is in at tailback, and Greg Emsler is in at fullback. 
Thompson and Amsler, true freshman. Collins is a redshirt freshman. Collins back to throw it. Swings it out for Thompson. Little guy from Lake Wales, Florida. Shakes one tackler. And gets the ball down to the 41 before they finally wrestle him down. Takes one man. He's quick. And he's out of bounds. Down around the 32-yard line. Really an impressive performance he put on in the last half of last year for Tennessee. Son of Doug Dickey, the athletic director. Collins throws it to Cloud. And a penalty flag goes down. And you may have an interference called out here. As there were four Alabama people all over the intended receiver, Miller. Sideline, Keith Davis. And he gets it down to the line of the And another penalty flag. <laughs> a foul rough in the passer on the defense. It'll be 15 yards added on to the completed pass. First down. Thank you. Second down and about two. Tennessee's reserves trying to get it in the end zone against the Alabama reserve. Moses Collins whips it in there. Touchdown. Caught by Terrence Cleveland. Second of the day. Second down and about seven for Alabama. Half a minute to go in the ball game. It's fun to see the enthusiasm of youth, though. Even in a lopsided defeat, 56 to 28. A lot of the young Tennessee players that have done well and gotten in late are enthusiastic. I mean, Clint, Moses Collins threw that touchdown pass to Cleveland, and he was in the end zone to congratulate Cleveland almost before the ball got there. They're going to let the clock run out. Ball game is over. Final score, Alabama 7-0 on the season, Tennessee 2-4 as the tide comes into Knoxville and breaks the Tennessee victory string at 4, 56-28.